right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be talking about absolute value. So I have the definition of absolute value up here. Um, and the definition is the number's distance from zero on a number line. All right. So what I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to give you two numbers. Okay. I have five and negative four. Thumbs up if you know how to graph five and negative four on a number line. Right? Lots of you know how to do it. It's super easy, right? So I'm going to come and find positive five and then negative four, graph them on a number line, and I'm going to make my zero really big, darken it really big, um, so that way everyone can see it. Okay? Um, so I know that everyone knows how to graph these. Um, today, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working with um, the absolute value of numbers. So one more time, the definition is the absolute, the absolute value is a number's distance from zero on a number line. So when you are asked to find the absolute value, you will be given a number like five or negative four. And our class, thanks to Brooklyn, we decided we were going to call it a wall. You will see the number between two walls. Do you see how five is in between the two walls? Yeah. And four is not in between the two walls. Do you see the difference? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're looking for the absolute value of five, and then we're looking for the absolute value of negative four. So we're just going to call it the two walls. Um, that's what tells you is that we're looking for the absolute value of the number. Okay. And the definition, it says that it's the number, the number's distance from zero on a number line. So I'm going to start at zero, and I'm going to count how many places I need to move to get to five. And you're going to help me count. Ready? There's one, one two, two, three, four, five. five. Oh my gosh, that was really hard, right? No. So the absolute value of positive five, and no one's writing anything in their math journals yet, the absolute value of positive five is five. It's five places away from zero. Thumbs up if that makes sense to you in the mind of your sixth grade self. Okay? So now let's look at negative four. Negative four is a little bit different. Okay? So I want to know what is the absolute value of negative four? Well, I'm going to count how many places from zero it is. Ready? You're going to count with me. There's one, two, three, four. As I was counting, I heard people saying negatives. When you count, do you count with negatives? No. Did I say to count with negatives? No. No. So I'm going to erase this. And we're going to count one more time. And I don't want to hear the word negative because counting with negatives actually makes it incorrect. So let's try it one more time from zero. And we're just counting the places. One, two, three, four. Okay, so show me your fingers. How far away from zero is negative four? It's four places, right? So the absolute value of negative four is four. It means it's four places from zero. It's not negative four. We're looking for the absolute value. How many places from zero is it? Um, so I need, before you write anything down in your math journal, um, I need you to look at my two absolute values. The absolute value of positive five is five, and the absolute value of negative four is four. I need you to tell your partner two things, or three things, that you notice, um, that you notice about this. Like anything that we've talked about, two or three things that you've noticed about what we've talked about. Go. Um, what do you notice up here? Who's the drinker? Lexi. Where is Lexi? Absent. She's been absent for a while. And then if you have a negative number. Okay. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to have your math journal match my math journal, and I need the counting, like the little bumps for the counts. And then pencils up in the air when your math journal matches mine. Hunter, does your math journal match my math journal? Okay. Thank you. Dominic's ready. Hannah's ready. Haley's ready. Clara's ready. Thank you, friends. Okay. Um, I want you guys to be thinking about what you notice with um, the absolute value. What's something that you see with the absolute value that you could tell the class that you noticed? What's something that you noticed up here that has to do with the absolute value? Um, Hannah? Um, with five, um, you're counting the whole number of places from zero. Oh, okay, so you're counting by whole numbers um, with zero, okay. Um, Haley, what else do you notice? Um, if it's a whole number, then it stays the same, and if it's a negative number, then it's the opposite. Yeah, if it's a, if it's a positive whole number, it'll stay the same, like five, it's still five, but if it's a negative whole number, um, then it'll ch it'll change into its opposite. So negative four becomes positive four. Is there anything else that we noticed, Jeff? No, those are the same ones. Okay. 
All right, so um, those are really good things that were pointed out. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a number. Don't write anything yet. I'm going to give you a number that's going to go between the walls. All right, and in your mind, you are going to think um, about what the absolute value of this number is. And you're going to give me a thumbs up as soon as you know what the absolute value of this number is. Are you ready? Here is the absolute value going inside my two inside of my two walls. Thumbs up if you know what the absolute value of 213 is. Thumbs up. What is it? Everyone tell me. 213. 213. But how? How did you know that? We didn't even make a number line, and we did not count 213 places because that's really, really far. So how did you know? Tell your partner how you knew. Because it's a number. Because it's a number. Okay, I need all eyes up here in three, two, and one. Ooh, thank you. Class point. Whoever's in charge of that class point. Okay, I'm going to do another number, and it's going to be hard. It's going to go in between these two walls, and you're going to give me a thumbs up as soon as you know what this number, or what the absolute value of this number is. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you know what the absolute value of negative 1,112 is. What is the absolute value, you guys? 1,112. Yeah, perfect. So it's 1,112. Um, I do want everyone to notice that the absolute value is always a positive number. Don't be confused and don't look at it and say, oh, well, it's going to be the opposite. That's not the opposite. We're actually asking what the absolute value is. I need your math journal to match my math journal. And then we're even going to write something in underneath it. And then you can go ahead and copy that down with me as well. We're going to write find all numbers with the given absolute value. I have a couple friends that are already ready to go. So there's going to be a line where I'm going to give you a number. Okay? I'm going to give you the absolute value. And then we need to find, we need to find the two values that it could be. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but it's going to. Okay? If you want to set your math journal up, we're going to do this three times. up as soon as your math journal matches my math journal. I'll give you guys like 10 more seconds. I'm going to start teaching. Thank you for showing me you're ready to go. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so the first part of your assignment is going to be this, where you are going to be given um, the walls and we're going to say, what is the absolute value of this number? Okay. And thumbs up if you know you're going to be able to do that and be a rock star at it. I know, this is super easy, right? So then the second part of your assignment is they're going to give you a number and then ask you to tell you, um, ask you to find the two possible answers. So really, um, this is what it's going to look like. And don't write anything, just watch, okay? So given, we know that the absolute value of a number or of two numbers is 13, all right? So really, like what they're doing is they're giving you the equals. So this equals four. Um, given it equals 13 in this case. So I know, so I know that whatever my two um, numbers are going to be, whatever my two rational numbers are going to be, it's going to equal 13. Well, one of them is going to be positive 13, right? And then my other one is going to be a negative 13. Those are the only two possible answers. It can't be 12 equals 13, it can't be 18 equals 13. Um, it has to be the actual number, and the only way it can be, um, the only way that, <coughs> the only numbers you can use are positive and negative of the original number. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and have your math journal match my math journal. Thank you, Julie's ready, Dominic's ready, Hannah's ready, Sarah, and Laura. 
All right. So um, I'm going to give you um, I'm going to give you the um, absolute value, and I want you just to think about it. What do you think the two possible numbers would be? The absolute value. Don't say it yet. Just think. The absolute value is 2.3. Thumbs up if you think you know what my two possible numbers would be. My two rational numbers would be. Um, whisper to your neighbor what you think that they would be. Hey, can someone give me one of the numbers that we think that it is? Um, Laura. Negative 2.3. Yes. Negative 2.3. Um, the absolute value of negative 2.3 is positive 2.3. And everybody tell me, what's the other number? 2.3. Yeah, positive 2.3. All right. Um, so we're finding the possible, the two possible answers for uh, 2.3. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do one more, and I want you to talk about it with your partner. And I'm going to give you 15 seconds, and then we're going to come back all together. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Talk about it with your partner. The absolute value is three and a half, so what are my two possible numbers? Okay, I need all eyes up here in three, two, and one. Can someone give me one number that would go up there? One number that would go up there. What do you think it would be, Megan? Negative two, two point three and one half. Negative three and one half. And then what's my other number? Everybody tell me. Three, three and one half. Yeah, it's three and one half, and then negative three and one half. So the numbers, um, the rational numbers stay the same. The only difference is that we include positives or negatives. That's great. Thanks, Addison. Um, so 